All my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be discussing about A to B testing in data science. Now, before going ahead with respect to this particular video, if you are looking for career transition advice towards data scientists and some real life data scientist talk, please make sure that you actually watch this particular video till the end so that I'll be sharing some information at the end of this particular video regarding that. So let us go ahead and try to understand what exactly is A to B testing in data science. Now, guys, let us go some years back when machine learning, when recommendation system was not that good. A to B testing is basically used to compare two different products. You know, and those comparison is basically made from the user input, like if the, whether the user is clicking the product one or whether the user is clicking the product two. Now let us consider that I have built a static website. Initially, I have not developed machine learning into it. Now I have placed two banners of two different product in my static website. So a person has actually come, uh, he has visited my website. Now he's basically seeing the banner the image in the banner is wonderful for both the banners, but there are some attraction views that basically the user gets towards that particular product. And suppose he's attracted towards the first product, he will go and click that particular product. That basically means that first product banner is basically doing better than the second product banner. And that may also be a same product, but the images may be different. So this basically means that we are trying to compare two or the same product with different images, with different styling. And that leads to usually conversion, right? People will go and buy that particular product or uh, if I take about data science code, people will, may go and buy that particular course itself. Now, when I consider data science, you know, uh, how A to B testing is done. And guys, this is also a very important thing in the life cycle of a data science project. When we are actually doing testing and suppose if I'm considering that I'm, I'm implementing some machine learning algorithms or some recommendation system in some e-commerce site, you know, let us take Amazon, right? Now in Amazon, I want, uh, I'm buying a phone, right? And suddenly I'm getting a recommendation of earphones, headphones, right? And different types of products with different, different images, okay? The product may be same, but the different, uh, it may have different banner images. It may have different types of images, right? So what, what happens is that I may get attracted to some images, some types of products and I may go and click it. So that basically means that as I go and click it, so the next time when I can visit that particular site, they will also have that particular information. Okay, this kind of banner was actually liked by this particular person because he had clicked on that and whether he has ordered that or not, that information may also be stored. So again, he may get that particular product recommended, you know, and with the same image like. So a to B testing is heavily used in e-commerce site where you have different different products that are dynamically popping up in front of you. Apart from that, you may also have different, uh, if I take an example of Netflix recommendation, right? Over there also you'll be getting recommendation of different movies. But every time notice that the image thumbnail, the, the movie thumbnail will also be changing. Because suppose I see one movie and if I don't like that particular thumbnail, even though it may be an action movie, it may be other kind of movie based on my assumption. If I go and click that particular thumbnail, right? I, I, I basically like that thumbnail, so I'm actually watching that particular movie. So these are various techniques of doing it, you know, doing a content A to B testing and that is also been tracked. So usually testers, when they are actually testing in data science, they usually have this content A to B testing and uh, what type of content is getting displayed. If the user is actually clicking it, that clicks are basically getting recorded. It is getting saved in somewhere in some databases and all this particular information is also tracked. So this is how you are actually comparing many number of products based on the user assumptions, whatever the user behavior is actually there. Let me give you one more very good example. Suppose you are seeing some YouTube videos, okay? Now, when you're seeing some YouTube videos, suppose you're looking for some data science course. So you may get various course information as an ads, and suppose you like one of the course and you have basically clicked that particular course. Now, what will happen is that in later on, when you're actually visiting some websites, you will also may get that same kind of course as a pop-up in some of the websites like ads and all, right? So suppose I have two, two different products that are actually coming in my YouTube ads, right? And I select the first one of that same product or a different product, I do not select the second one. So what I ha what happens is that in the next time, whenever I'm seeing that particular YouTube videos, you know, that product may again come up. So this is how it, it, it is mostly with respect to recommendation in e-commerce site where you're actually comparing two products, which product is better, you know, it is performing better than the other product. If you are actually selling one product itself in any websites, okay, and you have put 
different different images with this particular image how is this product uh, performing and the same product with different images how it is performing based on the user behavior and clicks that is all getting captured and by that you know nowadays many mnc's many companies are doing this a to b testing efficiently to sell their products and uh, you know with different different visualization and definitely there will be also a marketing team noticing that okay if i'm putting this thumbnail images whether it is performing better or not should i remove that particular thumbnail image shall i come up with some different thumbnail image so this all things are basically going and that is how a content a to b testing is done i will also say it as a to b testing in data science because you are including machine learning algorithms over there you are using some recommendation system techniques over there whatever products if i if i own a company i'm actually suppose i'm selling one kind of phone you know so whatever products i want to display in the web page in the in the youtube ads i'll just display it with different different thumbnails with different different videos and i'll go and track whether this thumbnail is working well or whether this video is working well or whether this content is working well and that is how actually i distinguish the performance of the product and when the people are actually click, clicking that product buying that product that basically means product with that particular thumbnail and image is performing better than the other one so this all information is being getting tracked it is being stored in some no, no sql databases like mongodb and finally they, there will be again a visualization dashboard in the back end where you will be able to see the reports like how many people clicked and what all they basically did so yes uh, now if you are looking towards the career transition towards data science guys please make sure that you watch this particular video from Springboard India. They have pretty much good uh, YouTube videos. The link will basically be given in the description. So yes, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all.